Nothing can stop what we can do together. We want all students to be able to go to school. I want us to play this season. I am wearing a mask. I want you to wear a mask too. To be able to go to class. I want all of our Tar Heels to be able to play. I'm wearing a mask. 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 I want you to wear a mask too. My name is Riley Fulmer, and today I'm going to be speaking with Ava Smallnars, a senior member of the UNC field hockey team, about her experience as a student athlete during the COVID-19 pandemic. By looking into her personal experience, I hope to shed light on the truths behind her reality that so many student athletes share. I would like to start with a quick introduction. Could you please tell me a bit about yourself? What is your major? What are your interests? And what plans do you have for the future? Hello, I'm Ava. I'm a senior from the Netherlands and I'm part of the UNC field hockey team. I'm majoring in PR and advertisement in the media and journalism school with a minor in coaching. What I'm trying to do is I either want to get a master's degree at home or in England, or maybe if this is still an option, trying to find a job here in America. I'm actually going to stay for an extra semester in the fall. Ava. What is your favorite memory with the field hockey team? So I think one of my favorite memories has to be winning the first national championship. We worked so hard to win in my freshman year and um, we made it all the way to the semifinals and then we lost against UConn. So we were so ready to get revenge and go all the way in my sophomore year. And when we finally made that happen and won everything, it was such a insane feeling to be with that team. What limitations have you felt being a student athlete during the pandemic? And also, what else looks different this season compared to past seasons? Being a student athlete, we have to think about the fact that we have to be very safe in order to play. Um, we can't have any positive cases because it can influence not only your own life, um, but also just in general the team. So at one point we decided that we were gonna basically be in a bubble. So that definitely had some limitations on our social lives. We're not allowed to see anyone besides our own team and we have some other rules. The most important difference is COVID. We don't play for the national championship anymore this year. We just have our ACC tournament. Um, besides that, we also have now a spring season where we do compete for the national championship. And then I think just in general, like there's been obviously like a lot of going on in the world, and especially like right now in um, America. So I think the protests and all of that kind of stuff has definitely changed a little bit how our season's looking right now. We've had some tough conversations within our team. Um, and we're just trying to like, um, stay connected and work as a unit and stay um, together as a family and as a team because at the end of the day we're here to be supportive of each other and try to work through whatever comes in our path. We see you. We hear you. We stand with you. Enough is enough. We are one team. Black Lives Matter. Last but certainly not least, what role has COVID played on your mental health? And what steps has the team taken to protect student athletes? COVID definitely has taken a toll on my mental health for sure. Especially since I wasn't able to go home. Um, during the summer um, so as of now I haven't seen my family for a year and then I recently discovered that COVID is as well um, 
coming back in Holland, where I'm from, um, which means there's some insecurity about whether or not I can go home again for winter break. So that's been kind of hard on my mental health. Um, I just don't know when I will be able to see my family. Um, it's been a year and a half at that point when I like, and I have younger sisters and my mom and my dad, my grandma, my grandparents. So I think that definitely has been a harder part um, that COVID has brought into my life. I think in general, it's very hard for any team um, to deal with COVID because no one has ever experienced anything like this. So we definitely talked about it as a team to like what we can do to support each other um, and maintain a healthy mental health. Um, I guess what we've been trying to do is like, we've been trying to open up a lot and talk to each other and reach out to each other. Um, on top of that, we also have weekly meetings with our sports psychologist, Dr. Jen Jenny Shannon, who's been very helpful um, into guiding our team into a place where we feel comfortable talking about our mental health struggles and at the same time trying to find a solution or trying to find ways to improve our mental health. Um, and I think as well, like having field hockey as that kind of like relief from COVID has been really helpful. It's our little like escaping time from reality.